Welcome to the last of nine videos in our course Pro Video Editing with an iPad or iPhone using LumaFusion. In the last video, we talked about how there is more to communicating with video than what is composed in the frame. We went over how to create smooth titles and graphics using LumaFusion. After editing a video, you need to export and render it into a single file. This video will cover how to export from LumaFusion to many different destinations. We'll end by discussing different types of files you can export. Everybody's got to start somewhere, and that's why we've made a list, a shopping list of the nine essential things that every beginner filmmaker needs. It's really easy to get. All you have to do is click on the link in the card there or a link in the description, and you can get it today. Okay, so here we are again on the iOS homepage, and we're going to jump into LumaFusion. Now, once you're done with your masterpiece, it's time for delivery. And this means exporting the video out of your editor and having it in a file type, file size, frame rate, resolution, and codec that you need for all of the different locations. However, LumaFusion makes it really easy. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna export our masterpiece here and we're gonna look at the bottom right hand corner and we see this little can with the arrow out. That's the export button. If I press that, it has share and export. Now I have a couple different options here, which we've looked at in the past, which is you know, an XML project package so that you can open it into Final Cut Pro, LumaFusion project package, which is really good for archiving the project. You can take a snapshot of any frame of your video. So if you just need to output just one frame for maybe a thumbnail or some other place you need an image for, but we're gonna export the movie today. So I'm gonna press on movie. And what this brings up is where do we want our export to go? So first thing is, is we have a couple options that are here. These are probably the most likely uh, for some, but there's lots of other options other than just putting them in your photo reel, putting it on YouTube. This is directly to YouTube or directly to Vimeo. All you gotta do is log into your account within LumaFusion. But what we wanna do is see all the other options as well. So the cool thing is, is you have all these options here on the left and we can keep on scrolling down and it makes it really easy to add it to your in use. So say we wanted to add frame IO so that way we can talk and communicate with maybe the producer or someone else that's working on the project with you. All I have to do is tap and hold and now I can just drag it over here. And all I have to do then is sign in through Frame.io to use your Frame.io account. So I'm going to back out of here and choose just the photos folder because that's just easy for us right now. And we can go and see all of the render settings that we have here. So right off the top, you can see if I open this up, there are all sorts of resolution options and aspect ratios to deal with here that you can do all the way up to 4K. And of course our project today is actually 4K, it's UHD 4K. So we're gonna tap on that and we can change our frame rates all the way up to 240, just like we did when we were creating our project. If we were working in a project that had a higher frame rate, we could totally export it as that or anything below it. And then we can go into movie quality. And this is a really nice thing. It makes it really simple for you to choose how you want your video exported as. So we're gonna tap on that. And you can see here, you can do a real small, file, maybe one for the web, an economy file, maybe one you have to send over uh, the internet for a quick view, or you want to go all the way down to maybe ultra so that you're doing something that maybe is great for your final master, your archiving render of the project. We're going to say that's what we're going to do now, because why not? Then we can go into audio quality. And of course, we have one step above 44.1 kilohertz, which 44.1 is CD quality. So we're good. And then we're going to go to video codec. And this is a really amazing list. We have from H.264, H.265, HVAC, all the way to all these ProRes options. So we could output this as ProRes 4444 and have a really nice final master. But I'm gonna put it back to actually H.264 just to show you the other options which are in the file format. So this would be a .mov file, a QuickTime file. But if I'm shooting an H.264, I'd actually have the choice to be an MP4 as well. Now, more than that, you can choose right here. It says includes video and audio. And you go, what's that mean? Well, it means that you can put out the audio and video or just the video only, depending on what you need to do. If this was 360 video, then we could choose the different ways that we could present it to our viewer. At the bottom, it's telling you all what all your choices just did. So the first thing is, is your export is 10.2 seconds. It's going to be 153.6 megabyte file. And it also tells you your space available on your hard drive. So then if I just say export, 
and it makes the file. And now if I go to my video folder, it'll be right there. Congratulations, you finished the course. Now take this information and challenge yourself to use it today. Thanks for watching.